What is it? At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. If I had anything to give, I'd give it. But I've got nothing, so leave me in peace, all of you.
locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Good day. Hey, Pip, do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. Can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, is Henry. opposed to your king. I'm with you, Matthew. So lords, What's going on here? Deutsche spouting even shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlement manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torture, to be honest. But doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us?
All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Until she's gone. Are you mad? What are you doing? You have to Welcome, Henry. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh... Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Doshas! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> Hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that!
What do you think you're playing are you at? Doing? Are you trying no, to get yourselves in trouble? In right. Ah, yes. Sorry. It's just that's never happened to me before. The Deutsch was insulting King Wenceslas. He got what he deserved. So that's why. Deutsch isn't a bad fellow, but he should drop this nonsense about Sigismund before someone torches his house. So you don't mind that we... Don't gape like a stuffed squirrel. Do you take me for a German lover? I serve my lord, and my lord serves the king, and that's Wenceslas. But what to do with you now? The Deutsch will make trouble if I let you off. So I won't go to jail? Ha! Who paid for your grub? You know what? The Deutsch got what he deserved. I'll go and have a word with your father, and we'll straighten it out somehow. Now clear off before I change my mind. High price, and he says that's fine. Oof. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? Actually, he caught me. What? And how come you're here? He let me go. He's on our side. What? Are you pulling my pizzle? He doesn't like the Deutsch any more than we do. He said he'll fix it somehow. Great. Looks like your dawdling paid off. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it, then. Kunesh! Get out here, you old goat! I've something to show you!
I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? What the? All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Not yet. I'm working on it. And how much longer will it take? Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, I don't. I'll be back soon. God be with you.
Surrender! You'll have to answer for your law-breaking. All right, you win. So it's you. You were seen starting a brawl. You should have thought twice about what you were doing. That will land you a fat fine. All right, that's enough. Maybe you didn't realize, but I'm in the service of the Lord of Ratai. So you better keep that in mind. Sure. And you think that makes you above the law? Think again. That's too much. I don't have that much coin. Well, it's a jail cell for you then. Hey, you! Don't move the muscle. You call that combat? You committed a crime and I'm arresting you. Hey! You'll get what for? Ow! I've heard reports about you picking fights with people, and we don't like that around here, my boy. This definitely won't come cheap. You learn crime doesn't pay. Just my luck. Look, I can't tell you anymore. The fate of the whole empire hangs in the balance between King Wenceslas and King Sigismund. High politics, you know? Not a peep to anyone. My heart bleeds for you. I can't pay that. Hmm. Well, that? it's a jail cell for you, then. Jail it is, then. You'll love it there. It's all hey. set up specially just for the likes of you. Next time you'll think twice about stealing. Let me out! 